Lesson 4, HTML, the basic structure of a web page. In this video, we're going to review the basic structure of a web page. From the last video, I created an index.html file, which was in the hdoc folders. It's in the HTML. Here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up with another text editor. What I use is Text Wrangler on the Mac, and on Windows, you can use Note++ and so on. I'm going to go ahead and double click on Text Wrangler, and I'm going to go ahead and open the previous index.html file that I created from the last video. So you see, hello world. Now, if we added another sentence, this is what's going to happen. I press enter, and I type in hello world again, and I'm going to save it. What happens? Well, let's go ahead and open up a um, web browser. I'm going to go ahead and shrink this a little bit so I can keep it on two windows. One window will be for the, for the codes on the left side, and the right side will be the browser where we can see how it works. So I'm in that local host. I'm in MAMP. Type in H HTML slash index.html. Enter. And as you can see, I have it on the second line here in Text Wrangler. But over here, the browser does not read, does not make it on the second line. So that's why HTML is introduced. HTML is a certain type of language that tells the browser what to do, when to have it on the next line, and when to make this bold and large, and so on. We're going to be introducing the HTML tags. An HTML tag has an open tag and a closed tag. Let me show you what I mean. So you go back to the line one and you open the tag with swear bracket H1, close swear bracket, I'll make that as a space. H1 is a open tag and then you have to close, close tag so that HTML knows this sentence is complete. So you type in swear bracket slash H1, close swear bracket. And then over here, you're going to make this as a paragraph. So I'm going to make this as swear bracket open paragraph P. This is called the open paragraph tag. Then you close the paragraph with a close paragraph P. How the syntax normally work is square bracket slash P close square bracket. And that is a closing tag. So let's go ahead and save it and run it and see how it works. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this. And there it is. Hello world. And then the second line says hello world again. And that's what I mean by using HTML to let the browser know and how you design your page as well. Now, in an HTML document, you have a standard structure. And I want you to be aware of it because it will help you on building HTML and how you best use this structure. Let's type apple.com, for example. Let's see its source. So what does it mean to see a page source? You just right mouse click and view the page source. Apple's website has a page source. Um, for a person who reads HTML, they will see and pick up the basic structure. The first basic structure is the doc type HTML. Very common doc type, and that's this one here. The next one is the head tag, the open head tag, and the close head tag. And in between there are a lot of things you can put in there, such as meta tags and so forth like that. Don't worry about that. We'll learn at another time on another video on all these meta tags, meta name, such as meta property, and so on. The next thing you want to look at as a structure is the body, and that's the body tag. And then you go down more, the body ends right, right down here. And don't forget, when you open an HTML type, you always use the beginning open tag of HTML, and you always close it on the last sentence with a close HTML tag. And in between, there will be a lot of different paragraphs, title tags, and so forth. So now that you've seen how complicated HTML website can get, let's get into the basic of HTML structure. 
So I made a basic HTML structure and it's in the htdocs folder in the HTML. In here I made HTML basic right here. I will double click here. You would see a few sentences and a few words here. So let's go ahead and see how it looks in Text Wrangler. Right mouse click, open with Text Wrangler, and this is the basic structure of HTML. Okay, so now the first thing is the doc type is declared. Then you would declare a open HTML tag. Then you cl would close the HTML tag at the end right here. The next thing is you can have a head tag and a closing head tag. In between there would be a title tag right here. And then comes the body tag and then the closing body tag is after the head tag. And so if you go look side by side, when you run side by side, you will see that on the left, the code of the basic structure will look something like on the right side, like this when it's loaded on the browser. And that is it for the HTML basic structure. Study this basic structure and let's get to the next lesson on building a web page with HTML.